Howdy folks, welcome back to Silver Run Forest. As you can see, we've got a new piece of equipment. And it's pretty cool. This was a uh, cheap option for dual winches, which is kind of what I wanted. Took a look at some of the Platinum Expansion equipment. And this has dual winches. Now some tractors and stuff that have dual winches, but they're way more expensive. Almost twice as much as this. Uh, this was about $225, I think. So pretty pricey. But we're going to use it for a bit. I've got a bunch of trees cut down. We're going to see how it does. I don't know if I'll keep it. But we're going to use it for a bit. We'll see how it gets along. You can see it's uh, November 3rd. So we're chugging along. Almost in winter time. And it is still super warm. Now, I did an experiment. Where I, I went ahead and fast forwarded the game each day. Checked each day. Through to the end of January. And we did get a little snow in January, but it was just too warm. Let's see, it's high of 42. Uh, it's just not cold enough for the snow to stick around, unfortunately. So I don't think we're going to get any snow this winter, from the looks of things. So that's too bad. Now, if it does get cold enough, I could add snow with the... Uh, basically, the console commands. Easy development controls mod lets you do that. But that kind of feels like cheating. Don't want to do that. All right, let's ease across here. Now, it's really hard to go slow and drive with the keyboard, so I'm going to use the cruise control here to just creep across the creek. There we go. This thing gets around pretty well, and I really like how sharp it can turn. It can really turn around in a tight space. So I'm going to see how many of these logs we can actually hook up to. And what's cool, you got a blade on the front and a blade on the back. So you can really push stuff around if you need to. I'm going to push these back a little bit. Now I tried grabbing uh, a couple trees with the clamp thingy and the, the log physics are just so bad it's ridiculous so you should be able to grab trees and drag them out of here but they just go every which way and they don't actually drag so we're not going to be doing that but this has dual winches so that is pretty sweet so it hooked on to you and hooked on to you she pulled over a little bit then we should be able to get four I think on each winch like the other winches. Let's just test that. So if we go, dude, no, max amount. All right. So every winch, no matter how big, has a, a four tree limit. That's fine. All right. So we've got four trees hooked up to there. Now we can come over to this side. We can grab another four with this winch. So let's hook onto there. I think just whichever winch you're closest to, it controls that one. Get a hold of that one, and then we're going to drop that. Let's get some of these grabbed. Can't quite reach that one. All right. So with this, I mean, we could drag stuff out of here with the tractor. Uh, this one, though, we can grab eight logs at a time, which is kind of cool. But is it worth 225 grand? I don't know. Don't know about that. But we had some money to burn, so we're going to play. Of course, you're caught on there. So I'm going to take my PV and try to move that over. I guess you can't do that when it's hooked up to the cable. Maybe. I'm not sure what was going on there. Let's grab you again. Work that back a little bit. If we had a PVM game, I would use that. They are quite handy. I've used them IRL to move big logs. All right. Let's get out of here now. We are in drive. Go ahead and use the cruise control. 
get across the creek here. So you can see eight logs at a time, no problem. This got plenty of horsepower. And then we can release all the winches at once. Now this has a crane arm on it, um, but it doesn't, I don't think it has any stabilizing feet. So the crane arm you can use to get the logs, you know, up into this thing. If you haven't seen this, let me just unfold it real quick. So the idea is you can grab logs, winch them up, grab them, and then put them up here, close that, and then tow them out. It just doesn't, it's, it's silly. You can drag whole trees, no problem, but they just go everywhere because the log physics is so terrible. Uh, but I'm using it just for the winch function. In theory, we could maybe load with this, but I think it would be kind of tippy going from side to side because there aren't any uh, stabilizing feet. Anyway, let's just fold that back up. Go get some more logs. So we're gonna drag some logs out of here and then get them loaded up on the truck. It's kind of the plan for this video. It's continuing to log this area. Oh, I got into some logs. My bad. Go slow speed across there. So we've got some smaller logs there. I think I'm running over stumps. I oh, know I'm running over logs and stumps. Sweet. <laughs> All right, let's get some of these big logs. I'm gonna actually put this blade down. So we're kind of against the ground. Apparently sometimes when you hop out, you're on top of the cab. Let's grab you and you. I do like using the winch. I always liked using the winch in you know, 17 and 19 with the mod. Oh, it's kind of nice that those are in the base game now. Right, let's go. Can we go all the way out here? Where's the... Is that the first one? Is that going to get hung up on this tree? Yep. Alright, let's take our PV and roll that. You can move it when they're on the winch. I think I was just stuck on something before. And one thing I miss uh, from the modded winch is you could go slow speed. It had a slow speed and a fast speed. These appear to just have one speed. So let's get some of this pine drug over there. Let's grab this one. Get you. There we go. So, plenty powerful. Hello? Must be too close to the other winch. There we go. We're good. There we go. Just slide that right up in there. And then let's grab this winch. And we'll go... Get you... Be careful, it's getting confused with like which winch we're hooked up to. And we've only got three on there, so we could grab one more actually. Let's go grab one of these. There 
we go. Alright, then let's say you, you, you. Uh oh. Things are getting a little squirrely. Raise that up. Let me try to drag everything out of here. Running over stumps as we go. I could just fly across there, but it, it just feels wrong. there and drop all right so that's pretty handy i mean it's faster you can get two loads basically and that's plenty powerful so you don't have to worry about running out of power Let's go ahead and grab these little guys. Not even hardly worth picking up. And get you rolled over. And there's one. Oh, there's a bunch of them around here. Get this big end forward. All right, you get a cable, and you get a cable, you get a cable, and you get a cable. There we go. There were some more down in here, weren't there? Any more down in here? Or is that it? It gets kind of thick. Well, how far can the cable go? Let's find out. Can we go clear over here? Sure can. Alright. Drag these over. Make sure we're on the right side here. I kind of wish those would swivel like they should. Those uh, pulleys should swivel, but they don't. It's okay. It's pretty detailed, this machine. All right, you have three on you. So let's grab a fourth, and then this already has four. I think that's all we can get. myself some slack so we're gonna do a swift little turnaround here whoa slow down slow down logs going every which way I thought maybe they had improved the log physics a little bit with the loading the dragging is still pretty pathetic Get up in here. Drop those. Now let's give this a whirl with the uh, with the loader. I had a, a comment from Mark Dupont 
who I used to play some farm sim with, and he's got some fantastic older farm sim content. Uh, so go check him out on YouTube. Mark with a C. DuPont. And uh, we did a series together back in the day. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, he was telling me to use the, uh, the scooper on the front loader. Like to scoop him into the jaw instead of trying to push him on. So let's go give that a whirl. I need to get the truck moved over there though. Got the Mac all washed up, although it started to get dirty again. It was clean for a little while. But it's a working truck. It's gonna get dirty. See if we can. I need to get some of these bushes cleaned out. We'll just run over them for now. Let's park about right here. It may take me a while to load, so we'll go ahead and shut that off. This thing's been earning its keep. It needs a bath, too. You can see I've cut down a lot of trees. There's still plenty more trees back in there, but I want to try out the loading. So let's run over here. While we're running, let me get you updated. I bought some more stuff, too, with all our money. So I got this nice tipper trailer, fifth wheel. I've got it just about full of wood chips I've been scooping up. And then I went ahead and bought this little, uh, I don't know if it's Zeter or Zator. I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, this little guy was on sale. Pretty steep discount. I think it was like 20 grand. It's really cheap. So this is the dedicated sheep tractor now. You can see I brought the carry all down. Been taking pallets of wool over with that. And then it'll just be the uh, the dedicated sheep tractor. We don't have to keep bringing the other tractor down here all the time. And it's got enough power to run all this stuff. I'm pretty sure. I think uh, is it is it 75 horsepower? Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, 75 horsepower. And I believe what's our mower say it takes. Uh, 80. So I think, yeah, I, I think it'll work. I think it'll be fine. Anyway, that's our little dedicated sheep tractor now. So we can keep the Volvo doing other things. Let's go hop in the big loader. And get it fired up. So Mark was saying use this, this piece here to like grab them. And pull them up into the fork. So we'll give that a whirl. I don't know if we can get that to work. We'll try it. Nom nom. Let's see if I can get the hang of this. So I was trying to like push up into it. I can't see anything because of all the grass and bushes and stuff. So if we come over here. I I'm going to hit that stump, aren't I? Let's back up a little bit. Now we're not, not exactly centered, but... So, do I have to, like, put this down? It's hard to do with a mouse. It might be easier with a joystick. Like, pull them into there, kind of? Uh, yeah. So I think that's what he meant, only you're supposed to do it do it well. <laughs> I, I didn't, didn't do it so well. Let me shove this log over. pushed over a little bit so I think that's what he meant by grabbing it with the uh, little jaw thingy it's trying to find the right angle so something like that only better so I think you know what he I think I know what he meant. Uh, I'm just having a little trouble with the execution of it. 
Of course, I didn't make my log pile very good. I've seen some people using the, uh, the tracked loader with the grapple. Looks like it works pretty well for grabbing a log or two and loading that way. So I might try that at some point. Uh-oh. Pushed on the truck a little bit. As we uh, make more money, we can try out some of the other equipment. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Professional driver, look out. Trees and stuff in my way. So can we get this kind of shoved over? And then, like I said, it's hard to do this with a mouse. I should get my get some dual joysticks set up. That's kinda. So I see what he's saying. I think I think that does work pretty well. I just need some more practice. So thanks for the tip, Mark. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can get all these big logs here, and then we'll... That pile there, right ahead of me, is fairly well organized. So let's get these big brown logs out of the way, and then see if we could get that other pile. A big scoop. Let's see if we can shove, shove a little bit. I'm cheating a little bit with super strength here, but there's enough physics bugs and crap. That I don't, I don't feel bad at all about cheating a little bit now and then. And like I said before, if they'd give me a PB tool in the game, I would, I would use it. Uh, but we don't have that option. So keep that down, and then scoop in. Yeah, that actually works pretty well. The logs will just hang in there real, real quick. I'm going to have to do some adjusting in the trailer, I can see. But... They're all kind of mostly in the trailer. Ta-da! <laughs> Very nice. Alright, let's see if we can get this uh, big scoop of logs in the back trailer. We're going to have to do a little bit of finagling. Some of those logs are in pretty, in pretty bad shape, pretty far back. All right, so we want to kind of come into the pile. Then we want to start scooping them in. It won't quite cut underneath. It sort of is. Eh, it's not the worst load ever. Might be runner-up to the worst load ever. You just chill right there. You need to do a, a little bit of push in here. It doesn't want to push. What about you? Do you want to push? Uh oh, a little bit. I might have pushed too much. Well, it's, it's better anyway. <laughs> like these three.
Oh, that one, that one went. How about you? You were just, you were just having none of it, huh? And now I'm stuck in here. Here we go. All right, well, let's throw some straps on that. So straps? Oh, they're already strapped. Gotcha. Unfastened. There we go. They're across the bottom. All right, everybody got their fingers crossed. Let's gonna get these undone. Let's see if we can get this load in the back trailer. looks legit. It looks like there's some kind of black magic going on where it tries to keep the logs in the forks with magic. Uh, we're losing one. Log overboard! Get you down in here, log. All right, we'll get we'll get those later. Did you push back a little bit? There we go. Yeah, I'll have to come down here. Uh, I don't think now the skits here won't reach in there. We'll figure something out. I need a better log for it. This works for good bunches, but it does it does take a little practice. Let's see if we can get another mouthful here. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I've been using auto load a lot off camera, just because it's such a giant pain in the butt with the physics especially with pallets i i kept doing cartwheels trying to load pallets it would just fling my machine all over the place so i i typically don't even bother anymore with <laughs> the wool pallets don't seem too bad uh but the other heavier pallets are just crazy they'll they'll flip your forklift over So I've been using the auto load for the uh, pallets a lot. All right, let's see if we can grab that. So we kind of want, I want that, and then we no, didn't have quite the right angle. Drop in there. And then yeah, there's some there's definitely some magic happening here with these forks. A little bit of giant's magic. Ta-da! <laughs> Perfect. Blows that up. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's not terrible. So, where do we need to take this? Uh, let's go take a look at our production here. Go down to old sawmill. It's got plenty of wood still. And how's the paper furnace doing? Or paper furnace. <laughs> paper factory. Uh, paper factory could use a little bit of wood, but it's not doing too bad. I've been over there for a while to see if it needs any cartons taken away. So I think we can just go sell these logs. Everything else is chugging away pretty good. So let's just head over to the sawmill and we'll sell these.
turn pretty sharp with these trailers, which is another reason I like them. You're getting around the mountains. There's some pretty sharp corners up there in the hills where we do the logged uh, transport tasks. These trailers come in pretty handy. Now, I tried to get like three going, but this, they only hook together like this. Like you can't buy a second one of these and hook it on back here, unfortunately. I tried that. It doesn't work that way. I think I have traffic turned off because it kept being stupid. So that's why there's no cars around. It's okay. We'll use our blinkers anyway. And I've actually been taking a shortcut through here. Sometimes. Well, you're probably not supposed to. And it's a little bouncy across the track here. Because it's not, not technically a crossing. But we'll make it a crossing. And we should get... Uh, these are pretty good logs. We should get maybe 28, 30 grand. This load. Let's see how we do. Come over here to sell wood. 32 grand. There we go. Very nice. You can see I've got my uh, flatbed over there. I've been doing the pallet deliveries with that. Especially the metal rolls are really heavy. It's a little, a little more than the 3500 can handle with the gooseneck trailer. So I use the old Mac and the flatbed. So that's, that's what I've been doing. Been cutting down trees and hauling them. That's pretty much all that's been happening here all fall. That's how we made all that money. And then, of course, every once in a while we'll go sell off some goods. That helps, too. So we're going to keep on with that. I'm going to get the other side of the lake logged off as well. And then I'll see. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to do some development in here. Or what. Uh, I think once we get all this cleared out, there's actually a good way to make a road. It's not nearly as steep as this. I saw that on, uh, I think it was Dairy Era Farms. He had made a, a path through there that looked pretty sweet. So go check him out on YouTube as well. It's uh, Dairy Like the Cow, Air Like Air Farms. Nice name. <laughs> yeah, he's been uh, playing on Silver Run Forest as well. Been enjoying his playthrough, so... We'll see. Once we get this logged off, we'll kind of take a look and see where we want to plant. Uh, I might even like build a cabin here or something. I don't. I haven't decided yet. But that'll be it for this video. I'm going to keep on working the land, like I said. And I don't think we're going to get any snow, but we'll see what happens. I'll just keep working, and I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next episode. Might start looking at the boatyard again and uh, getting it supplied. I still want to see a boat launch. We kind of kind of missed that one. That was my bad. But yeah, anyway, probably watching this after Christmas. So I hope you had a great Christmas. Thanks, as always, for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.